We now return to Miracle on 134th Street. Oh my god, I left my phone in my car. Wow, it's still there. Hey, I've been asking around about this carnival thing. Turns out I know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy who knows a girl, which is weird because they don't usually know nothing, who says the carnival was canceled by the mall's owner. Some guy named Carter Pewterschmidt. Oh, my God. So I got another guy working on finding out who that is. It's my father. Oh, this is a twist I did not expect. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to have to hold this out until I'm not surprised anymore. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Lois, before I get mad at your dad, he, he isn't the Little Caesars guy, is he? No, Peter, we've been through this. Good. I could never be mad at that guy. He says my favorite word twice in a row. Now, I'm gonna go talk to your father and get him to bring back the Christmas carnival. Peter, I don't think that's gonna work. Sure it will. The nerve of your dad taking the fun out of Christmas like some kind of gluten-free Santa. Hey, hey, what's in these? Mm. I'm okay if it's like coconut flour, but anything with actual grains, I can't do. I'm not sure. Well, who is sure? Mr. Pewterschmidt, there's a man here who says he's the guy whose picture is on all the money. Holy cow, send him in! Griffin? That's right, and this is my own People magazine from home and not from your waiting room just now. And why did you cancel a Christmas carnival? Because I hate Christmas. You know what it's like being rich at Christmas, Griffin? Everyone expects an expensive present, and I get nothing. Did you... Did you just have your hand in my fish tank? No. Jeez, Cotty, you know what? I am gonna help you find the Christmas spirit so you bring back the carnival. Look, are we done here? Um, yeah, uh, just one more thing. Can I choose one thing in your office to take home with me? No! Oh, too bad. Because I was gonna choose you. You're weird. You're a weird guy. <laughs> No, 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 I want to zip it. It's okay, Peter. You're good at other stuff. So you're going to help your old man find his Christmas spirit again, eh? Oh, yeah. That sounds real bad. Her father don't like Christmas. My father was drowned to death in a bird bath by an officer with the law. His will just said, kick Jimmy in the sack for me. Go Eagles. My sympathies, Vinny. Don't worry about it. He was a scumbag. Are you sure about this, Peter? I mean, I know Stewie was disappointed about the carnival, but he'll get over it. He's a happy, resilient baby. I don't know, Lois. I feel like if we don't do something, Stewie's first words are going to be, why did you kill Christmas? And I want the carnival back, too. You know, I know I'm usually all business, but deep down, you know what the thing is that keeps me going more than anything else? Wonder. A sense of wonder. Well, you have your work cut out for you, Peter. My father's always hated Christmas. Hey, happy June 16th. Well, let's see how you like it when someone breaks into your house and touches all your stuff. Hey, knock it off. I'm touching this, and this over here, you're a creep is my point. All right, Cotton, now you know what's guaranteed to put you in the holiday mood? Write a Christmas letter to all your friends and relatives. And keep in mind, it's traditional to embellish a little bit to make yourself look better. Peter had a great year and is now starting quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. What? People can easily fact-check this. Yeah, who has the time? Keep reading. Chris refurbished a vintage motorcycle, and Stewie can slam dunk a basketball from a standing start. Uh, Peter, that's impossible. Read what it says about you. Lois's father, Carter Pewterschmidt, bought a small stool for his balls. Damn it, I'm not proud of that! Well, you have to throw in some real facts. That's what gives the newsletter credibility. Now, everyone knows the best way to get the...